Hi everyone, and welcome to another video in our series on managing and maintaining your Kyocera Task Alpha MFPs. My name is Sam Hammond, Lead Product Trainer here at Boston Document Systems, and in today's video we're going to be discussing how to edit the file name of an incoming scan. This can be extremely useful when scanning uh, large batches of documents to yourself and you want to be able to sort through them at a later date. Or if you are scanning a document to a coworker and you want to inform them of what the document is. Now, by default, when a document arrives at your computer, it will be called doc date and timestamp dot PDF or dot insert your file extension here. If we wish to change that, here's how we do so. From the touch screen panel of the copier, you'll hit the send button. Once you have chosen your destination, uh, you will select OK, or you will choose your destination from the One Touch menu here. Now, in order to do this, on the three series machines, you will see an option for file name entry up here on the Quick Setup tab. That is a created shortcut. On the One and Two series machines, in order to do this, we're going to go to the Advanced Setup option. Here, you're going to see an option for file name entry right here on the left hand on the right hand side. Once you've chosen this, there's three different things we have to edit here. The first, if you want to deselect the job number and date and time settings, uh, this will remove the long string of numbers after the doc in front of your file name. Then if I want to change my file name, I'll select file name and then using the QWERTY keyboard, I will call my document whatever I want to call it. Once I have done so, I will select OK. And now when the document arrives in my inbox, it'll be called test.pdf. A couple things to note here. If file name entry edits are something I do frequently, I can add it as a shortcut on my one and two series machines. I'll call file name entry, FNE, uh, and I'll save it as a shortcut so that it shows up on the quick setup tab. Now what that looks like for you is that in, on the quick setup tab, I have my file name entry shortcut. So I don't have to remember advanced setup file name entry. It's just right here. The other thing to keep in mind is that if a file name is reused, so if I scan something to a folder called test, then I scan something to the folder again and call it test without removing the first document, this document named test will overwrite the first document named test. And this is because names are really important. Right? So in order for something to exist on a computer environment, it has to have a different name than another object within that space. Once again, my name is Sam Hammond, Lead Product Trainer here at Boston Document Systems. In today's video, we discussed how to edit file names uh, when scanning to yourself or to a colleague. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Thank you, and bye.